Watch you guys got another video on how to optimize Windows 11 for free and improve PC performance. This is what you're going to see quite a bit on YouTube when we talk about uh, improving performance for gaming or whatever it is that they want to improve performance for. Now, Microsoft have come up with their own computer management tool called uh, Microsoft Computer Manager 2.3. It's public beta version, which means it's still in the process of being tested. But I thought I would share this with you guys so you can see exactly what Microsoft have to offer when it comes to PC cleaners, system optimizers, whatever it is you want to call them. You can see here they all use the same sort of terminology uh, when it comes to boost PC performance, clean out all that garbage off your PC you know and uh, remove malware here even or viruses using their built-in virus tool now microsoft in the past said they don't support uh, registry cleaners or anything like that as you can see in this article on their website it basically says on here that when we get down to this section it says more information it says microsoft do not support the use of registry cleaners some programs available for free on the internet might contain spyware, adware, and viruses. If you decide to install these registry cleaners utilities, be sure to research the product and only down and install programs from publishers that you trust. Also, you can see here, Microsoft are detaching themselves from any responsibility and other things like that. But now all of a sudden, they're bringing out their own tool uh, to optimize the system. And why is this? Because these programs are very popular. You'll see a lot of people talking about optimization tools and PC cleaning tools and performance and boosting performance on a PC. And this is basically what they are. So this is the PC manager and we're going to open it up and uh, it's not been released fully yet, but you can see it's still in beta, fully system security checkup, uh, super fast virus removal, and there's a bunch of other little slides you're going to see here one click speed boost that is a very bold claim and again this is what these programs claim to do they claim to boost performance of your pc and these have been on the market for many many years and a lot of companies have invented their own versions of them and of course it obviously means there's a lot of money to be made in these programs so boost your pc performance is what pc manager claims to do in the settings tab there's not much in here start it up automatically and automatically update pc manager you can check for updates inside here and again virus definitions for uh, microsoft defender is listed there you can check and it will also run for viruses which is quite a nice little added feature now this might be useful for a lot of gamers and things like that which is the memory usage you can see we're at 23% and by clicking the boost button it basically brings that memory usage down and this is what a lot of tweakers on YouTube uh, will do in their videos to say that it boosts performance by you know releasing up memory usage and other things like that and temporary temporary files and cleaning them out health check again we have our health checker here we can click on the health check button which will check for uh, health on our system you can see items to clean up viruses potential issues and other things like that and if we look down in the list you'll see items to clean 1.3 gigabytes in total windows cache browser cache temporary files and system logs nothing too crazy again how that is going to boost the speed of your pc i really do not know and uh, it's just going to clear out your browser cache and also your temporary files and system logs there's a bunch of other stuff down here like startup apps to disable and again a lot of this can be done inside windows so you don't really need an application but microsoft have gone ahead and started to build their own application whether this is going to be paid i do not know um it may be free but you can see here you could just put your check mark in and uncheck mark these if you don't want them to be disabled if you want to disable put the check mark in proceed it will clean off all of your browser cache and and other sorts of cash here and literally uh, disable these from startup so that is the health check uh, tool here let me just quickly proceed here and we'll clean all this uh, stuff up so there we go health check completed all actions completed moving on to the next section which is your storage manager again this is going to uh, 
go to the storage sense which is built into windows so when we go in here you'll see deep cleanup perform a full deep cleanup scan on your system when you click on this it does much of the same thing system cleanup windows updates and also windows prefetch uh, microsoft defender and temporary files again it's just removing a lot of temporary files and other things like that and that mounts to 251 megabytes in size there and there's some other bits on there you can see you can run that cleanup and it's now done it's cleaning your web cache as well moving on down to manage large files this will look for large files on your computer and basically you can do this by size whether it be by 10 megabytes up to one gigabyte you can uh, check inside your documents pictures compressed folders others and audio and video and basically weed those files out and delete them to recover some sort of space on your system this can be quite useful and then moving on to managed apps again this is going to open up a window inside windows and take you to the apps page which means that you will be able to then uninstall the apps that you don't want now again down here is going to be windows apps that may come pre-installed on windows so you could just quickly go in and uninstall these by clicking on the three dots and clicking on uninstall it's that simple so let me just quickly show you one here which i can uninstall how it works it's pretty straightforward stuff but again do you really need an app to go and do this you can just go to settings click apps and then uninstall them and this is the sort of point of these applications really they sort of hook you in to make you think that you're getting something that you really need and really you don't so let's go ahead and uninstall that so that is the application to uninstall and now we can move on down to storage sense which will again open up storage sense in windows and you can now go ahead and start running some cleanup of your tempi files which we've already done apparently in that program but it wants to make sure and go ahead and clean them again inside storage sense and this is sort of the pointless uh, thing with these programs they just really empty out a lot of the temporary files and uh, internet temporary files and other things like that web cache prefetch files and things like that so let's go ahead and quickly do a quick scan here i've run this already in a previous video i just wanted to show you here that's basically how that works you can leave this on automatic user content cleanup and this will automatically clean up using the storage sense and it will run in the background and clean up all your stuff you can see there was only six megabytes of space in the past month cleaned up but yeah not that much really let's get back into the program itself and we're going to push the back arrow and move on down to process management here 14 processes running what can we do about it well we can end some of these processes but remember some of these you might need but if you don't need them you can click on the end process and it will just end these processes it's that simple so if you don't need them just click on them and end them but again you can do this inside uh, windows but the application will be there i'm pretty sure they'll find a way to implement this into windows so you can just click on it and do it very quickly once they've probably finished it unless it's going to be a standalone application which you would have to download again i really don't know because it's in the beta version at the moment but that is the uh, startup apps to toggle off now you can toggle off and toggle on these applications and these are to disable the startup apps um, as well and i thought we already done this but this also uh, boosts uh, performance as well as they claim here and uh, that is the startup apps so that is it really we have now got the security feature which is going to be running windows defender scans you can also do uh, windows updates and browser protection so let's quickly run a scan here and see what happens when we run a scan it's going to run a scan on the system and it's just going to check and i'm just going to cancel that out because i'm not going to sit there and wait for that to finish but basically that is the pc manager tool from microsoft which will be coming your way very soon you can see the current default browser is google chrome you can change that if you wish and you can do your windows updates and check them here so let me know what you guys think of this sort of stuff personally i don't use these sort of things but a lot of people seem to 
rave about them on the internet and again they've been around for a very long time go on the internet and you'll see tons of articles about them this program i do use which is bleach bit and i've used this before it's a pretty good program it's free and it's very powerful and there's also other ones like io bit which is advanced system care avg tune-up uh, c cleaner's been around a very long time another one that's very popular with people with the performance optimizer and then we've also got this one here, Privacy as well. Free PC cleaner. And we've got Glary Utilities. The list just goes on and on and on. And there is tons of them out there, literally tons of them. And they all claim to do quite a lot to your PC to make it super fast. And again, this is what the attraction is. One click maintenance, free up drive space, prevent errors and crashing. You know, make your computer run faster, protect your privacy, keep your software updated, you know, stuff like that. So this is what the uh, this is what the phishing part is to fish you in to make you think that you're getting a faster uh, PC from running this particular type of software. You may see crazy deals on this particular software. Some of it is free and some of it is paid. And yes, it does clean out temporary files and junk files, but what really hooks people in is the boost in your PC performance, get more FPS and all this sort of stuff. You're going to see a, quite a lot of this on YouTube channels, promoting this sort of thing, running these programs and, you know, updating your drivers and things like that on a regular basis. And this is what these programs are. They've been around for a very, very long time. And again, if you're going to be wanting to boost your pc performance then you know buy yourself a faster processor more ram uh, install an ssd instead of a hard drive and you'll get a much better uh, performance boost than any of these programs can ever offer you they use quite aggressive advertising to try to trick you to think that you're getting something that you're not and again you will not be able to boost performance of your pc to the magnitude that they are saying. So you may get a placebo of your PC being faster because you've now emptied some files again, but are you really going to be seeing a massive performance boost on your PC by running this software? No, it's just going to clear out a bunch of junk off the PC and that is it. So choose your poison if you want to use any of those and download it and install it on your PC if you wish. My recommendation would be to use Bleachbit. If you do want to use one of these programs, it's probably one of the better ones out of all of these. But if you want to see a video on going through some of these programs and some of the pros and cons on them, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.